Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and it's time for some more Fallout 4 explosives only. So here is Betty, but again, we are not at Far Harbour, but we are close to one of the quest locations, the quest marker things that we are after. However, this will require a little bit of explaining, because last time out we didn't have this many quests. We had this quest here, the Changing Tide, which was go and talk to lots of people basically and get some more quests. The people of Far Harbour do need an awful lot of help, don't they? The whole place is falling apart. So I've spoken to Captain Avery, and I've spoken to Mitch, and I've spoken to Small Bertha, and I've spoken to Mariner, and they have given me some more quests. So whereas before, we just had hunting the hunter, stop a Corsa, and that was about it, and then go and get on the main quest. No, no, now we're back doing this. So we have the holdout, search for Uncle Ken. So Uncle Ken is somewhere out there. You go, National Park Visitor Center. He's, uh, he's in there somewhere, and we've got to go and check if he's okay. Turn back the fog is for Small Bertha. Sorry, so that was for the guy in the bar. The holdout is the one for the guy in the bar. Turn back the fog is for Small Bertha. She wants to secure Echo Lake Lumber and they're going to move in there because they want to actually get some houses rather than living out on a rickety old dock, which I completely agree with. The Great Hunt is for Mariner. Now this is where we go <laughs> We go and battle the Red Death. Ooh, sounds scary. So yep, yeah, we're going to do the Red Death thing soon enough. And this one here that we are looking at right now Howard Dunbar uh, is for Captain Avery. A guy went out to mend the fog condensers near the water purifier and uh, he's not come back yet. I rather suspect he is dead. So that's what we're going to do right now. So we are pretty much upon it. Oh, also, just to just to go through very quickly, I had two perks, so I spent them in two points of agility. So I thought, do you know what? Why not? Give me some more action points. I'll be able to run away for longer. And then I did think what I could have is this. So if I get some more agility, I could start taking agility-based perks, because that's fine. They can't hurt what they can't hit. 25 damage resistance and 25 energy resistance when sprinting. That's good. Up it again, and up it again. Sprinting costs less action points. So yes, I kind of have a plan now of what to do with some of my action points. The rest of it, don't really need them. Don't really need them at all. But that, and the one above it as well where I regenerate the action points quicker, could also be quite useful. So these are probably our next things that we're going to be spending our perks on. I don't think anything else is going to be particularly useful. That could be, I suppose, intelligence and perception boost at night time. So we've got a boost of stuff in the day from solar powered, and then a boost of something at night time, possibly. I don't know. But yeah, first things first, I'm going to try and get these. I want to get moving targets. We need another point of agility. Then, uh, say, two or three more of those. And then possibly go up to action the girl as well. But there we go. So yes, I have two extra points of agility in case you're wondering where all my perks have gone. Right, let's go and look around here. Let's crouch. Let's crouch. So this guy was coming out to mend a fog condenser. Yes, the fog condensers are very much not working. Look, they are very broken. Because that is not working at all. That is jiggered. Okay. He's inside. I don't like it. He's in there somewhere. He's in there. Oh, no. Maybe he's not in there. Maybe he's round the back of here. Uh-oh. Mylurk. Mylurk. What type of Mylurk? A soft shell Mylurk. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe if we just throw... Let's get a cryo grenade. Now, I have manufactured some stuff, but not a lot. I think I made some molotovs, maybe three or four of those, and a couple of plasmas, plasma grenades, and a couple of fragmentation grenades. But I don't, I, it's very hard. I'm finding it very difficult to get enough resources together. Right, lob that round there. Boom, dead. Oh, I'm still in caution. Is there another one? Oh, there's a legendary Mylurk hunter. Well, ain't that a doozy. Right, let's drop that round the corner for him. Legendary enemy has mutated. However, legendary enemy is still hopefully a bit cold. So let's throw that under its feet, right? That might have hurt it. Right, I think it might be crippled. It's not moving. It's not... Did that just blow up my grenade in mid-air? No. No, naughty. Not having that, thank you very much. There we go. So, okay, I think... <laughs> whatever his name was, Howard Dunbar, was it? I think Howard Dunbar's probably dead. He's probably been eaten. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll take all that stuff. Jolly good. Uh, where is... Howard didn't make it. I'll have to repair the fog condensers myself. Okay, that should be easy enough. I imagine there's going to be 12. Oh, screwdriver. That's quite a nice touch. He's obviously eating the screwdriver off him. I imagine there's going to be 12 bazillion Myalurks lying around. Uh, fog condenser components. Yep. Wow. Okay. 
They look they look very advanced. Okay, yes, we'll take all of those and we'll take your caps and your gumdrops as well. Right, okay, so the first one was just round the corner, wasn't it? That's absolutely fine. This one should be okie doke, so let's just do the thing. Repair that. Yep, there we go. And that can then start doing its fog condensing stuff. Yep, spinny spin. And sorted. I do like those. I like the noise they make. It sounds good. Um, uh, where are the next ones? Oh, up the road. Oh, they're further up this way, are they? Okay. Ah, yes, I can see it up there, in fact. Okay. What <laughs> what manner of terrible creatures are going to be round here? Because this isn't just going to be a case of, yeah, go fix the things. There's going to be some terrible things around somewhere. Okay. Right, this one here. Yep. Yeah. Fill the gap in there, yeah, right, that's that one done. And then the one all the way up here, which seems quite a long way from the other ones, but okay, fine. Right, let's just trudge along and get to the other one. Okay, so this is Far Harbour's water source then, just here. So there's a little sort of lake, and this is where they've got all their water stuff. But yes, this is indeed broken, and I imagine as soon as I do this, some monsters are going to appear, or something terrible is going to happen. Or is it as easy as that? Is that going to disturb some Milux? Or something? Return to Captain Avery. Right, something has appeared. A soft shell... Is that it? One soft shell Milux. Uh, yeah, okay, I can cope with you. Let's just throw that there. Run this way. That'll probably kill you. Uh, no, it didn't kill you. Oh, you must have been really quick and got out of the way. Okay, right. Frag mine and run, Betty. Run, Betty. Run. <laughs> Betty, run quicker. Silly Betty. Okay, that was the only thing that came out of there. Okay, fine. Right, well that was easy then. So, which one of these quests do you want to do now? Because you might as well just carry on. There you go, that's returned to Captain Avery. So that's absolutely fine. The Great Hunt, I think we'll do at the end. Uh, we'll do that at the last one we do of these four. Because that just basically, we'll go out on a boat and we'll do the thing. We'll come back and then we can speak to everybody. So it's either secure Echo Lake Lumber or search for Uncle Ken. Well, let's have a look where they both are on the map. So, Uncle Ken is where? Oh, okay. Uncle Ken is only up there. Oh, that's fine. We might be able to go and do that with Uncle Ken. If we travel to the old Sea Day Spa, uh, do we want to do that? Or do we want to travel to our lovely safe Dalton farm and walk down? I think we might go to the farm because that has loads of super mutants in it and they'll probably come and try and kill me. Why don't we go and search for, <laughs> look for Uncle Ken first and then go down here. Maybe we'll travel to the cinema thing there and head down to Echo Lake Lumber. Yeah, and that's a good idea. Right, firstly, Dalton Farm, fast travel and then head down to wherever it was to find Uncle Ken. Okay, so here is the National Park Visitor Centre. His fog condensers are still working. So that's probably a good sign, I would have thought. Okay, let's go in here then. Yep, so there's a, a house or a building, a fairly big building. That looks kind of cool. We'll take all that stuff that's in there. I mean, it might be Uncle Ken's. He's probably dead. Oh, no, there's Uncle Ken. Hello, were you Uncle Ken? Right, can I get out of this? Because I'm probably going to need to do some speech checks, aren't I, to convince him to stop being such a silly man living out here on his own. Hello, Uncle Ken. Go away. Nice to meet you. You see those corpses? They're from me. Unless you're ready for the long walk. Go away! Oh, I like you. You're a proper crazy person. Okay, Mitch is worried. Your nephew's worried about you. He sent me. Mitch? My boy Mitch sent you? He was always a smart one. He sent me the fog condensers. Made it safe to breathe here. Glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle. But you... What? What have you done? They're coming! They're coming! Okay, is there actually someone coming, or is, are you just mad? I don't know. Uh, tell me the plan. What's the plan, Uncle Ken? <sighs> Let me think. I haven't reset my traps, or repaired the defenses. Quick, do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon. What? Uh, okay. Work, where, where's the, where is the workbench, Uncle Ken? Oh, right here, okay. Okay, you want me to do a thing? Okay, uh, uh, what? Can I, can I, what, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Uncle Ken, what are you talking about? Do I, am I supposed to build some stuff? What? I don't know what I'm doing, Uncle Ken. You've kind of gone a bit mad. Um, okay, turrets. I can't really build much in the way of turrets, Uncle Ken. 
Uh, let's put a turret there then. This looks like a good thing. I assume some monsters are going to come in and try and kill us all. So let's just drop some things in around here. Uh, yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. Are there any? There's no turrets out here or anything, is there? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, there's some raiders. There's some dead raiders. Okay, well, I can build another couple of these. So let's put one of these uh, here. This looks like a big, fairly open space. Okay, right. I can't build any more. I can't build any more. Okay, so we're just going to have to see what happens with these. Okay, right. Get back in. So we've got some turrets. That's fine. So that means they can take some... They can, you know, cause some damage to some people. Yep, the turrets are already firing. This is good. Betty taking a leisurely time to get into the thing. Right, okay. Uncle Ken just doing some gardening there. <laughs> just just while there's carnage going on. He's just doing a little bit of gardening. A little spot of gardening. Uh, oh, Uncle Ken. Right, you deal with the stuff, Uncle Ken. I'll just I'll just do a little bit of farming. Do, do, do. Corn is useful. Have you got any mute fruit? Ken, have you got any mute fruit anywhere? I mean, it's probably not the time to talk to you about it, but it'd be really handy. Oh, 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 hello. You, you're probably not supposed to be in here. Right, can we blow up and kill you? Bang. Oh, probably not. Oh, g g get him. Get him. Blow up quicker, grenades. Yes, okay, that's good. That's one relentless trapper down that says, no. Uh, oh, there's one just there. I should possibly sort that out. Uncle Ken. You might want to look out, Uncle Ken. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken is down. <laughs> Uncle Ken is down. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Uncle Ken. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if that was supposed to happen. That was terribly, terribly, terribly... Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Let me check. So, what quest did I just fail? I failed... Oh, yeah, I did. I failed the big quest with the thing where I have to help them all because his uncle is, is not... His uncle is not okay. So, I presume you have failed that. Um. Okay, now this is interesting. Do I go back and try again? I, I don't think I'll be able to do it. I think Uncle Ken is going to die each time because... I, I use explosives. <laughs> I can't keep him alive because stuff will just keep exploding and he will always be subject to those blasts unless he's able to take it out, take them all out himself. But then he's probably going to die from himself being damaged and me not joining in because I don't want to damage him by throwing explosives. I think we're just going to have to just accept that that quest has, uh, that quest has failed. Uh, yeah, that one, look, that one. Defend the visitor center. Well, well, hang on. That's a bit harsh. That's a bit harsh. I might have defended the visitor centre. And this is a bit harsh as well. Failed. Help Small Bertha. Failed. Help Mitch. Fa Hang on. I can still help all these other people. Just because stupid Uncle Ken walked into the path of a grenade doesn't mean that I can't help everyone else. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, now, yeah, I don't know whether I should go back and try again. <laughs> whether I should just live with the failure. Do you know what? Do you know what? Now I know that that's all... Well, not all it is, but that there's that many people. I wonder if I can do something to to whatever his name is, Ken. I wonder if I can do something and kind of board him into something so they can't kill him, but he can't get out. So build a wall around him or something so I can succeed in the quest and keep him alive. Because I can take out all these dudes. I can stand up here. It's fine. I'm not even damaged, really. So, okay, yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to try this again, talk to Ken, and then kind of box him into something to try and keep him alive. I think that might be our best bet. Let's give it another go. Uncle Ken has been kind of locked into a bit over there. Now, I don't think it's going to hold. I don't think it's going to hold. We'll probably have to do it again. I just don't think there's enough... Uh, that there's too much room on either side for him to get out. I'd have to go and scavenge some wood and stuff from around the place as well. Just to make sure that it could fit him inside. Okay, let's just see. Before they arrive, let's just see if I can lock these bits together any better. Because, yeah, yeah, they do that annoying thing where it just goes a right angle. I don't want that. I want it to be... No, not there. Oh no, and now they're going to come out. Right, just plop that there. Grab this one. Quick, 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 because they're going to come in and Uncle Ken's going to run off uh, and put that one. Can we move it any further over? Oh no! <laughs> you silly man. The whole point is, you, they've blown my turret up. You're supposed to, he's not really doing anything at the minute, is he? He's not bothered at the moment. Okay, can we, can we, can we trap him a bit more? Maybe we should just try to trap him in a corner or something, like at an angle. Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken, stay behind this lovely defensive wall I've built you, Uncle Ken. It's a good place, Uncle Ken. It is the best of all the defences. Yeah, so they're over there. In fact, Uncle Ken, this is a pretty good spot, to be fair. This is a pretty good place to hide. Oh, apart from apart from up there, where you can't hide. Other than that, where you can't hide, it's pretty good for hiding. There we go. Right. Oh, yes, they're all just standing in one place. It's tremendous. Right, okay, let's just do this. And now they're next to me, look. 
I can just keep lobbing stuff. Right, down there. Right, where's Uncle Ken? He's down there. Ken. Ken. Get back. Ken, get back. Right, plasma. Throw a couple of plasmas out there. Like that and like that. That should do the job. Beautiful. Anyone else left? Oh, certainly there's a couple people coming in. Okay, that's fine. We can deal with those. Drop those in. Boom. That will have hurt them. Oh, my goodness me. Right, plasma down there. Let's lob a plasma grenade down there. Bang. Um, Uncle Ken, you might have to take care of this guy that's right next to us. I can't shoot him because uh, it, it, I will kill you. I will kill you and render this whole thing entirely, entirely inappropriate. Right. Yes. Are we done? Danger. There's still danger. There is something. Allegedly. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't me, Uncle Ken. That wasn't me, all right? I didn't, I didn't just blow you up just then. Okay. There's... Who? Who is around? I can't see who's there. Okay. Right. Uncle Ken is going AWOL. Right. We need to go up to the roof. The roof was really good. Let's go up to the roof again. Ooh. Legendary. Okay. There's a legendary person left behind. Right. Is it you? Just here. Okay. Yeah. You're just there. Okay. Yeah. You're throwing grenades. That's fine. I can cope with that. Right, there. Grenade for you. Which isn't going to get you too badly. Right, and then some fire. Oh, there you go. That's probably going to hurt you a bit. More fire. Boom. Right, again. I'm doing okay for health. Okay, let's roll that down there. Oh, you're probably just going to regenerate whatever it is, aren't you? Yes, mutate, regenerate, whatever. Okay. Let, oh, you're burnt. You are crippled. You are stuck. You can't move anywhere. Right. Yeah, let's do that. And another one should finish you off, I believe. Farewell, legendary Ruthless Trapper. Sorted. Defend the Visitor Center. <laughs> yes. Okay, that went a bit better then, didn't it? There we go. That's far better. Right, Uncle Ken. You're alive, Uncle Ken. Please don't tell me that killed him. Oh, <laughs> that would have been rubbish, wouldn't it? Right, Uncle Ken. Hang on. Let me just grab this corn first. Right, let me get out of this. Da -da -da -da. Clamber out the power armor. Right, Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken, is that okay? You okay? <clears throat> Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Why don't you just come with us? There we go. Speech check. Convince him to come. Here we go. Come home, Uncle Ken. Mitch sent me to bring you home. Safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. This is my home. And what? You want me to huddle like a beggar in Far Harbor? I... I can't just leave. Okay, right. So, what about Midge? It's your funeral. I'm taking you back or consider it a vacation is a hard speech check. Betty, Betty, do the hard speech check. You got this. Just consider this a vacation. You'll come back later when it's safe. You are so persistent. Fine. You happy? You've chased me from my home. Ah, I'll pack my things. Yes, Uncle Ken. Oh, it was glorious, and Betty did indeed speech check him very well. Uh, okay, now this is my settlement, I believe, now. Because she keeps saying I need to assign someone to this whenever I'm picking the corn. So, uh, yeah, I think this has become my settlement. We don't particularly want one, uh, another one over here, particularly here in the middle, where it seems quite dangerous. There's lots of trappers around. But, uh, okay, that's good. So I guess he just makes his way back home, does he? I assume he just makes his way back home. Okay, right. There's going to be some goodies for me to pick up from all these people and that legendary item off the legendary trapper on the other side of the house. So that's those two. That's returned to that. Right. Secure Echo Lake Lumber is going to be the next one. So that's done. That's done. Secure Echo Lake Lumber. That was quite some distance away. So I'll grab all the stuff from here, all the useful things, and then we'll head down to Eden Meadow Cinema uh, fast travel to that and then walk down to Echo Lake Lumber and then do some more explodey things down here. Ah, okay. I haven't discovered that place yet, so I can't fast travel to the cinema place. Okay, well, let's fast travel to Eagles Cove Tannery then and head down via here, pick this up and then go to Echo Lake Lumber. Crikey, okay. Lots more walking around in Far Harbour. Okay, I found the outdoor cinema and there is actually something showing, which is a bit, which is a little bit strange. Yeah, that must have been playing on a reel, on loop or whatever it is. I don't know how they loop the machines in this, but for hundreds 
and hundreds of years. However, there are a load of ghouls out there. I don't need to tangle with those ghouls. I don't have the resources, really. I don't have the explodey things to take on all those ghouls. If I can get them in one thing with one grenade placement, then that would be excellent and I would do so, but I don't think I can. So we've discovered it. There was a safe in the back where I uh, grabbed a load of stuff. That was quite welcome, but that's it. I don't think we're going to tangle with those ghouls because we just don't need to. So let's make our way over to where the actual quest marker is telling us where to go. Okay, this is the place. I've not quite got to the point where it ticks it off on the map marker yet, but already there is something there. Obviously, this wasn't going to be empty. It's ghouls. So there are ghouls around. So if I come around the back, maybe I can try and take some of them by surprise. The other thing is, I don't know how many there are. I can see that one over there and that's it. I find it unlikely they'd just be the one. I mean, that'd be lovely if there was. That'd be quite a present, uh, pleasant surprise. But uh, no, unfortunately not. I bet there's not going to be just one. Okay. There's, yeah, there we go. So there's some more. So are they pretending to be asleep? Right, are you a good one? Oh, you're a withered feral. Okay, right. Let's drop a plasma grenade down for you. Wee, little plasma grenade present for you. Boom. Right, okay. That's killed you in the face. Splendid. Echo Lake Lumber. Here we are. There's lots of different buildings. Lots of separate locations where there could be terrifying ghoulie monsters. Right, we'll take that. Oh, and a hairbrush as well. Lovely. Thank you. Right, you are moving about. Let's lob a normal grenade down to you. Bang. So that's you dealt with. Right, caution. Caution, caution. Right, there's one up there. Uh, this is going to be tricky. Okay, can I get it to sort of sit on that step? Come on, kill him. Uh, okay. Oh, he's down. He's a rotting feral. Right, would some fire suffice? Can I throw some fire on him? Is that going to do the job? A sneak attack, allegedly. No, not quite. I think another one might do the job. And... Dead? Dead? Yes, dead. Okay. So there's still some more. There's a lot of map marker things around here. There's a tree over there. So that's like a, a sort of a... Uh, sort of natural landmark thing. There's a couple of like, swampy type things around as well. Okay, where is everyone else? Where are all the other ghouls? Because otherwise this is just too easy. Okay, okay. Can I click this? Can I click this? Search. You can't use this workshop until the fog is cleared. Oh, oh right. There's two over there. Right, okay. That's interesting then. Okay, hopefully that'll blow up and kill them both. Yes. Okay, that was good. That was good. Two in one. Okay. Now, I might be going slightly away from where I'm supposed to be clearing. There is an awful lot of fog around here. You're going to need many, many, many fog condensers, people who move in. Yeah, this isn't the nicest place to live. This is like a dangerous place to live. A dangerous, horrible place to live. Look at it. It's in the middle of nowhere and there's monsters everywhere and fog. There's so much fog. Uh, okay. Well, can we come in? There's a door there. I don't think this has an inside bit. I think it's just clear the outside. Where is anything else to clear? Uh, they're going to be upstairs. I thought I saw something moving just then, but it could just be like that stuff. The, the fog. The stuff in the fog. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Okay. There's someone there. What are you? A feral ghoul reaver. Uh, okay. I can hear a ghoul noise. I can hear a ghoul noise. Ooh! Okay, yes, there. There, there. there are several of the ghouls. Right, throw that there. Throw that. Oh, hello! You you probably know I'm here, don't you? I imagine that's made it fairly obvious. Fortunately, however, you're dead because you're a bit thick. Right, okay. Uh, oh, you're probably not so thick, though. Boing, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Okay, right. Well, it certainly hurt him. Uh, uh, right, okay. okay. Frag mines. Frag mines, good. Frag mines, good. Run this way. Run, 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 run. Drop frag mine. And get running again, Betty. Yeah, okay, that did something. Uh, okay, and another one. Another frag mine. Blow up on him, please. Yes, he is down. He is gone. He is dead. Splendid. Right, where were the other ones? He's carrying a nice bit of silver cutlery, just in case he sits down as a very posh dinner. That's good. Where are the others? Right, you, rotting feral, you can probably have fire. Bang, that kills you. Right, there's three more on the mark. Oh, there is a glowing one up there. There is a glowing one. Okay, can we do something cool and drop that in over the roof? Can we just try that? Plasma grenade in over the roof? 
Bang. Did that hurt anybody? I have no idea. I hope it did. Okay. Right, there's a reaver. A feral ghoul reaver. There is... Uh, where are they going? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Right, you're, you're coming the long way round, are you? Okay, okay, right. Well, let's throw a grenade upon the roof then. Let's see if that can kill you. Yeah. In hindsight, that was a terrible thing for the ghoul to do. <laughs> I'm going to get him. He's clearly on the roof. I'm, I'm not on the roof, fellas. I'm not on the roof at all. Right, a normal grenade can go in and cause some... Oh, right. I've caused a mutation. I've caused a mutation of the legendary. Okay, well, let's try and get a plasma grenade in there, then. See if I can drop... Oh, they've all run away from there. Okay. Oh, one of them has come down. One of them is down here. Okay. We need to be a bit wary now. Uh, there's a Vim machine. Is there any Vim? Ah, oh, damn it. I wanted some Vim. Right, where are you guys? Okay, legendary rotting. Have some fire, legendary rotting. And um, do you know what? We've got loads of them, and we haven't used one in a long while. Let's put a bottle cap mine down and just watch as he comes toward it and triggers it, because this could be quite fun. Oh, I've set the building on fire. Bang! <laughs> there we go. And there's a glowing one up there. Let's not forget, obviously, to pick up the caps that come out of that. It doesn't explain quite how the caps come out of it, but you don't put any caps into it. It doesn't really make any sense. A freezing lead pipe. Brilliant. Oh, good. I'm glad that was worth the effort. Right, the one... Oh! 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 <laughs> okay. Um, I was shielded from that, was I? From the exploding car. I was shielded from the exploding car from, I don't know what, maybe the angle that I was at from the wall or something? Okay, that could have that could have been a terribly stupid way to be killed, didn't it? Uh, ooh, a roll of duct tape and an aluminium can. Okay, there's going to be a lot of stuff to steal from around here. Steal, borrow. I mean, borrow, of course. Uh, okay, where's the last one? Up there somewhere. Okay, can we can we lob a thing up there to him? Is that going to kill him? Uh, no. Okay, maybe. Hmm, there's a door there. This looks a bit too obvious, doesn't it? What if we put the thing down? Then, oh, the door. Okay, right. We need to pick the door. Okay. Okay, there we go. Door open. Ghoul is... The ghoul is up there. Okay, I thought the ghoul was on this floor. Or is the ghoul going to come back down? Ghoul. I'm really confused. It's limping, I think. Whatever it is. It's a glowing one, isn't it? Whatever it is, is limping. I don't think it's very well. Um, okay, how do I get up there then? Right, there's some stairs over there. Do I need to go... How do I get to just there? Uh, okay, right, let's try and find our way up to the top. I think it might be round here somewhere. No, it'd be... It's it's in there somewhere. Okay, right. Can I, can I find a way up? I genuinely don't know. Okay, let's open this door. Uh, no stairs there. There is some other stuff in there. We'll take all of that. That's good. Oh! <laughs> it, it trod on the thing. <laughs> it did it. It trod on the mine. <laughs> and, and and scared me. And scared me an awful lot, I will I will completely admit. But yes, okay, good. It blew it. Hang on. Is that a ghoul underneath me? Who are you? Who, uh, hello? You've just appeared. Who are you? Malcolm? Who, who are you? Hi. You got them. You got them shambles. All dead. <laughs> Fog's quiet. The land's mine again. Uh, for what you done, you can leave. Leave before I need to go a-hunting and kill. Okay. I've been sent to claim this land, my good man. Uh, you might not want to be here when a load of people come in and oust you from it. So, uh, yeah, maybe we could share it. I'm sent to claim it. Let's tell him how it is for now. I was sent to claim the lumber mill for Far Harbor. This is my land. Keep the outsiders away. Or, ha, let them come. Send them to me. <laughs> Send all of them to me. And then I'll hunt them, salvage their gear, cut the meat. Then toss the remains for the fog. What do you say? Got caps. Make it worth your while. No, you horrible man. You're a horrible person. You're a cannibal or no deal. Um, no deal. I won't be party to murder. 
Well, I got no use for you. You're actually going to attack me, Malcolm. The person who just saw off all those ghouls, you're now going to try and kill. You are very silly, Malcolm. Here, have a grenade. There you go. Are you beginning to regret your stupid decision now, Malcolm? Because I think you might have made the wrong call just there. Okay, right. There's lots of cool looking stuff around. So, as ever, let's grab all the cool stuff. Oh, there's lots of lovely things. This place is big as well. This place is very big. There's going to be an awful lot of stuff to gather out of here. So, uh, let me go and grab all of the useful stuff. And then next... What's in the next thing? <laughs> so, return to Captain Avery is done. Return to Small Bertha. Return to Mitch. Ah, right. Okay, yes. Go and uh, do that one. That's it. Go and hunt... What's it called? The Red Death or something. I can't remember now. Yes. The Red Death. The mythical Red Death monster. Right, okay. So, we're back at Bar Harbor. There you are, Mariner, waiting at your boat. Well, no, this is, isn't this my boat, actually? You're waiting at my boat. Yep, hello. Mariner. I'll meet you there. The Red Death is going down. Okay, right, let's go and meet the Red Death then, so we pilot our boat. I mean, I mean, I don't know, this is obviously programmed. It said before, Mr. Nakano programmed it to get to Far Harbor or whatever. I don't quite know how he knew how to do that. But um, yeah, no, travel to Red Death Island, so presumably someone has programmed it to then go to Red Death Island. But yeah, okay, fine, let's go to Red Death Island. Away we go. Uh, Mariner will meet us there. I, uh, most people watching this are going to know how this goes. Let's be fair. So let's just cut to the chase and get on with it. Okay, Red Death. Big scary monster. All these ships have capsized because of the terrifying, horrible, nightmarish vision that is the Red Death. Let's go find out what the Red Death actually is. Hello Mariner, how are you? Can't be. That, that's the Red Death? Yep. Yeah. That's the Red Death. It's a teeny tiny Milag with a red shiny light coming out of its head. That's it. Yep. Okay. Oh, I got a talk thing, do I? Okay. Yep. Let's go sarcastic because I want to hear what Betty has to say. Think we can handle it? <laughs> mm. <sighs> we could always <laughs> all in the Marines. <laughs> oh, ha ha. What do we say to all the folk back home? If we tell them the truth, we'll be a laughing stock. <laughs> I did actually like Betty's response. So that is the funniest bit of dialogue, I think, in Fallout thus far. Oh, look out, the Red Death's coming toward us. Um, a laughing stock, say we didn't find it, make it a legend or don't lie. Do you know what? Let's ham it up. Let's make it a legend. We might as well do it. Do something in style. Maybe we embellish a little. Or a lot. Make it the stuff of legends. I have little stomach for it. But it's better than the alternative. Let's go. I thought, I got this for you to celebrate. I didn't think it would turn out like this. What have you given me? Legend of the Harbor. Oh, a kind of scabrous looking bit of clothing. Oh, thanks. Okay. Vanquish the Red Death. Oh, what should we... Oh, hang on. Can we go and look at it? Can we go and look at the Red Death? Oh, it's so cute. Look at him with his little tiny red eyes. Can we take him home? Mariner, can we take the Red Death home? He's so cute. Look, he's a little tiny Myerluck with his glowing red eyes. That's really cute. I don't really want to kill him or her or it. I feel a bit sad. It's not hurting anyone. Well, apart from all the killing all these people on these boats. But, you know, he's just going about. He can't help it that he's got a big laser beam face. He can't help that at all. Okay. Fine. What do we do? Oh, I oh, didn't realise it was actually on the map. I thought it was just a completely separate zone, but no, it actually is on the map. Oh, okay. That's quite cool. Um, Go on then. What have we got that we could... What don't we use? What do, uh, uh, A pulse mine we don't use, but um, no, we haven't really got anything that we don't use anymore, have we? Okay. Well, we've got a baseball grenade. 303 damage, 303 for that. Yeah, okay. Baseball grenade. I'm sorry, little fella. I'm very sorry. There you go. And... Bang. Oh, so <laughs> I've just had to kill him. That's really mean. Oh, he's still he's still trying to cling on to a light. No, no, and and the light goes out for the poor red death. Oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. Can we pick his body up? Can we move him around? Whoa, okay, we can <laughs> Wow, it's like a disco. This is the rave, the rave of the red death. Okay, now if we just put him 
down. Oh, he's quite bouncy. Yeah, he's not giving up, is he? Even in death, he's trying to shine that light at people. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. It's done, it's done, and the body goes a bit strange, <laughs> which is fine. Okay, right, back on the boat. Here we go, up this appropriately placed upturned boat. And back to Far Harbour we go. Uh-oh, right, my next mission objective for this quest is receive a hero's welcome. Okay, here we go. All the people I've been helping, I'm now going to blatantly lie to. So, uh, we set sail. It was a terrible fight. So you killed it? Oh, yes, we did at that. It was quite the sight. Did you hear? They did it. The Red Death's no more. Did it take long? My grand figured it would take a mini nuke direct to the center of the eye to do it in. That would have worked. But we may do. The seas are ours again. All your we can fish in peace. Tell me, are you injured, Mariner? Are you okay? No. We managed to get through unscathed. Oh, thank God. I thought for sure you were sailing to your graves. Here's to the heroes. Look at all we've done to the harbor. I finally feel safe. Okay, there we go. So we're kind of betraying the people, but we're giving them hope. That's absolutely fine. A little fib. It's a little fib, that's all. Right, the great hunt is done. I have a level. I think we know what we're going to do with that. Okay, let's uh, let's cash in all these quests while we're here then. So uh, yeah, and then that'll also complete the changing tides. So we've got Mitch, Small Bertha, Captain Avery. Well, Captain Avery is probably just here, so let's go and talk to her first. We need those fog condensers working as soon as possible. Yep, I'm on it. Fog condensers are back online. Good. Our water supply was starting to get low. Wasn't sure how much longer we could hold out. Did you find Howard? Yeah, he didn't make it. Uh, <laughs> his Mylurk food is a very horrible thing to put. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. I should never have let him go out there alone. Well, I said it was paying work. 200 caps should be enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. That's absolutely fine. Thank you. Thanks. Glad I could help you out. That makes two of us. Now, here's your pay. I've got to start making arrangements for Howard. So I'll say goodbye. Okay, that's another one done. Uh, and then we've got the other two around here. So little Bertha is round the back here somewhere, or she normally is. Yep, there she is. Let's talk to her. We're depending on you. we got nowhere else to go. I cleared the lumber mill for you. we got to go see the captain. Here's the pay. I don't care if you don't want it. People okay, yeah, so she gave me 14 caps, because that's all she had. Okay, the captain. Who's the captain? Oh, Avery. Captain Avery. She's busy at the minute. She's organising a funeral. <laughs> could you, uh, could you... Oh, no, you. I'm really confused. I'm really confused. Where are you going, small Bertha? Where are you headed? Bertha, do you want to talk? Bertha? Excuse me, ma'am? Smalls, we got no time for you. The mainlander cleared out Echo Lake Lumber Mill. That's true. Carry on. Ah, right, I was going to say, that's true. Carry on. It's all gone a bit strange. Okay, yes, listen to Bertha. Whatever you're talking about isn't as important as what Bertha's got to say. we got to get off the docks, Captain. If you give us some of those Acadian fog condensers, my friends are ready to homestead the lumber mill. The surviving is about more than taming fog. we got to stay together, Bertha. But we're no good here. Harbormen need their own land, something to protect and hold. I was wrong about you. What? Not you. You. Bertha knows this island better than you, Avery. We give folks some condensers, materials, and a chance to build defenses. And we'll survive, all right? And thrive, even. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm all for that, yes. Oh, I'll help too. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, no, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Don't want more quests. Could this work? Let's do that. Could this really work? I don't see why not. And even if it doesn't, instead of starving on a pier, they die on their own land. Give them the fog condensers, Avery. Well, I won't stop you, but until we deal with the children of Adam, settling the island again, it could blow up in your face. Come, Bertha. You might want to check up on Echo Lake. Bertha's friends would no doubt welcome you. And take this. You never cease to amaze. Oh, what did you give me? Some caps, presumably. Although it hasn't registered how many caps I got given. Okay, fine. Oh, 410. Good grief. Okay, right. That's that done then. Okay, the last one is to go into the last plank and speak to Mitch. 
Oh no, not talk to Mitch. Look, Uncle Ken's here. Hello, grumpy Uncle Ken. My boy. She actually did it. Did what? Chase me from my home? You should dump her in the harbor. <laughs> I'm going to go for the not grateful option. I've got to. You're really not grateful? You get to see your boy again. Ah, it is good to see family again. He never visits or writes. Here. I... I... Mitch is at a loss for words. Hush now. I owe you one. Oh, that's fine. Fire belly recipe. What was that? Okay, so that completes that quest. And that should complete the other quest as well. It should do, should it not? Do I not get the next quest complete as well? The big quest? To oh, talk to Captain Avery <laughs> again. <laughs> Just go around bothering her all the time. Okay, right, let's go and talk to Avery again. It's hard to believe before you came here, all hope seemed lost. But now we've, we've taken back homesteads. People are finally coming together. And all of it, it it's all because of you. Ah, be modest. You're welcome. Money was good or helping friends. Well, Betty is nice. I'm helping friends because you're all my friends. That's a bit creepy, isn't it? Okay, helping friends. I just wanted to help my friends. We don't deserve you. Sincerely. My people are so mired with their own concerns. I don't think they even realize that you saved us. All of us. Anything I give you or do for you, it, it just isn't enough. But take this and thank you. A rescue diver suit. Wear a gain's ability to breathe underwater and protection from radiation. Oh, that's quite cool. It looks like the old sort of diving suits. That's cool. I like that. Okay, it's not worth very much, though. Do you know what? I might put that on a thing back at Boomtown. I might take that back to Boomtown with me because it's not worth selling. It's not really worth selling. That'll look cool on one of the sort of model things back at Boomtown. Okay, and that's that done. And I'm halfway through to the next level already, which is splendid news. Okay, so uh, what have I got now? <laughs> I might actually be able to get back onto the main quest line. Yes, right, I've helped everybody. So the next thing I'm going to do, hunt the hunter. So I'm going to go and stop a courser. And then I get to go back and do the main quest. Hurrah! Let's do our level up while we're here. Let's take a point of agility. Thank you very much. So yes, that's what we'll do next time. Do that. Stop the course. In fact, let's plot that on the map right, right now. And then we shall go and get on with the main quest line. Because, yeah, this, this Far Harbour's big. There's a load of quests in Far Harbour. I kind of forgot how big Far Harbour actually is. And how vast and many quests and how many things there are to find here. So, um, yes, we'll do that next time out. I shall obviously do all the selling and crafting, or what I can anyway, and all that stuff, before we go and do that bit. I don't know how fighty the next bits are, though. That might be fighty if I've got to fight a courser. That should be okay. This bit here, though, might just be quite talky, I think. But I don't know. But we shall find out when we attempt it. So for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick.